Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. not here for a knot grass sprig, because I'm not entirely sure I have them in stock. Well, what say we show you some of what's available? Oh, I'm always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. I can tell you'll go far. Always open. You be sure to stop by soon. Doors always open. You be sure to stop by soon. Revelio. Promising news about the location of our Hebridean dragon friend and where to return her, you know what. Meet me in the town circle in Hogsmeade. Completed that errand for me yet? Hello, Mr. Barnes. I have that venomous tentacular. Wish I could see Lawley's face when he realizes his prized possession is gone. We'll see who's volatile now. Well done. I'll take it off your hands now. Of course. Glad to hand it over, frankly. I shall make an ocean of galleons, and Lawley's business will be sunk. <laughs> Here's a little something for your next trip to Zonko's. Oh, to see the look on Lordy's face the next time he wanders down to his cellar. This must be Aronshire. I'd best keep an eye out for spiders. Surely that's the last of them. Revelio. Seems a pleasant enough little place. Alohomora.
Mine now. Oh no. This must be Mary. Poor woman. Incendio! <laughs> reading these things in her cellar. That means there are more underground. I'll need to destroy every last spider in that cellar if this is to end. Revelio. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. This is where Mary bred the spiders, they're not here now. Revelio. Well, this isn't a good sign. These spiders are somewhere. A ladder. Not sure I want to know where this leads. I'd best be ready for whatever I may find down there. Egg sacks. I need to find and destroy all of these before the situation gets even worse. must be destroyed. Bombarda. Rebellion. Rebellion.
There's a victory that came none too soon. Oh. Confirm. Revelio. Destroy all of the exacts. Confirm. Revelio. Rebellion. Spider sacks. I suppose I know what happened to Mary Portman now. She was breeding the spiders. Revelio. Thank <laughs> you. 
Bombarda. Arrest over there. Oh, wait. That's the last one. She's angry. Arrest the next Glaciers! Bombard them! So foul. Mr. Dunn, I have some news. Thank Merlin, about my sweet friend Mary. It seems poor Mary was breeding spiders in her home for profit, and vastly underestimated their propensity to multiply. Oh, Mary, what untoward scheme were you involved in? If she needed financial assistance, she could have just come to me. She didn't deserve this. Few do. I am sorry about your friend, but you'll be relieved to know that I cleared out the spiders. It's safe to return now. You? You cleared out the spiders? I can't believe it, but I'm certainly relieved. I imagine the first order of business will be to help the Amulet rebuild. I suppose I have nothing to fear from dead spiders. That's the spirit. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you again for all you've done. I shall keep you apprised of the Hamlet's rebuilding. Glad I could be of help, and I look forward to visiting your shop the next time I'm in Aronshire. To dearly departed Mary.
like her to forget. I didn't keep you waiting, did I? Not at all. I was just at the post office. Gran told me to expect a package, but it looks as if she forgot to send it. She didn't send me an owl this week either. Perhaps she's busy with her research. What kind of research is she doing? It varies from week to week, but it's always to do with creatures. Last week she was studying leg knots in Plimpies. What did you find out about the dragon you were tracking? I realised that she didn't know the poachers had her egg, so when she left Horntail Hall, she would have headed straight to her nest. I went back to the tent and tracked her flight. How do you track a dragon long after she's gone? Tree canopies, burn marks, things like that. Well done. You certainly know what you're doing. I can't be certain, but I have an idea of one place she may have been heading. I thought we might go and see it for ourselves. Of course. Shall we leave now? If that's all right, I want to see how she's faring if she had a collar on. And she's likely frantic about her egg. Here we are. I do think this is where we'll find her. The terrain's typical of where the breed would nest. I suspect it's how the poachers found her to begin with. They likely camped here and logged her patterns. Perhaps nabbed her first and then her egg. Dragons are hard enough to wrangle, let alone maternal ones. You got all of that from simply standing here? You'd be surprised how easy it is to think like a poacher. Shall we see if she's home? We only need to return her egg. That sounds straightforward enough. We should be in and out. Then we can be finished with the poachers once and for all. Well then, let's find our dragon and return her egg. Wonderful. If she sees us flying about, she might take it as a sign of aggression or food. We should stay on foot. Oh, and one more thing. Let's not agitate her. Goodness knows. Revelio. through enough already. I'm ready when you are. There she is, above us. She did make it home safely. Oh, good. It looks as if she wasn't collared like the other dragons. Worth. She doesn't seem to have spotted us yet. Let's hope it stays up. At least until we Expelling. Get it. How charming. They keep in touch with each other. There she is again. She's breathtaking. From a distance. I see the bridge wasn't spared her wrath either. Good thing it's fixable. Levioso. Repair it. Fantastic.
Revelio. Hmm, I wonder how good her eyesight is. I beg your pardon? I don't imagine the poachers fed her well. And from a distance, we probably look exactly like sheep to her. Hebrideans love sheep. How lucky for us. Watch your step. Revelio. Or oh, just raring for a fight. Too warm if you ask. I don't suppose she listened to reason. I'd normally try, but we're well past that. Why is every bridge here broken? Repair it. Now, if we just return her egg, we can hopefully not have too much fuss. was brilliant. And did you see how clever? She left us perfectly unharmed. 
creatures are a lot cleverer than most people realize. That's what Gran always says. The important thing is that we survived it, and we returned her egg. Thank you for doing this with me. Wouldn't blame you one bit if you wanted to head back to the castle and never think about dragons again. Shall we head back? I'm ready if you are. I am. After our dragon rescue at Horntail Hall, I half expect to be ambushed by poachers any time I'm not in the castle. Understandable. We did sabotage their fighting ring and steal a dragon egg from them. True. True. So why haven't they come after us? It's not like them to let things lie. Unless... Unless what? Unless they haven't let things lie. Oh no, I can't believe I didn't see it. We need to leave. I need to send an owl. How could I have been so blind? I wonder if I'm safe to explore in there. You're here. Good. Sebastian, that relic you mentioned... I believe one of Slytherin's students stumbled upon the relic during an assignment to study sarcophagi in this catacomb. From what I read in a report by the student, they weren't permitted to take it with them, so I must assume it's still here. As I mentioned earlier, this relic grants its holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. If it's in this catacomb, I have to find it. For Anne. I need to see her. I'd be interested to know what else the student discovered. Have a look. Unfortunately, there's no name on it. But I suspect if it was important enough for Slytherin to stash in his spellbook, it's worthy of further study. I'm ready to explore the catacomb. Perhaps we can visit Anne when we finished. Perfect. By the way, Ominous has been asking about you. You didn't tell him what we were doing, did you? I didn't. I promise. Good. Ominous would be livid if he knew what we were about to do. I'll be interested to compare what lies inside to what I've read about this catacomb. I'm sure that foul smell is the scent of success. Try not to lose your nerve just Revelio. yet. Rebellion. That was it. And the rest of the tomb will be insect free. Ah, yes, yeah, spiders aren't insects. Don't start. We're here for a reason. I'd say opening them all is justified. Revelio! This room is taller than it looks. Finding a chest in an inconspicuous loft. Brilliant.
incendiary. Now this is the sort of great room I want to be buried in. Surrounded by grandeur. Grandeur in there? Even an altar with a pile of bones. Deposit. Bones outside a sarcophagus. Seems odd. Rebellion. I assume eerie sounds come with the territory. Revelio. There's something here by the altar. What did you find? Looks like part of a student's diary. It mentions plans to return for the relic and conjuring barricades using bones. Of course. The student's summary referenced the space beyond the Great Room, which means this can't be a dead end. Let's divide and conquer. You work on sorting out the bone barricades, I'll look around and see what we missed. Hold on to that diary entry, there may be more to it. It does mention something else. It says their next assignment was learning the Imperius Curse. Really? Interesting. We need to focus on moving beyond this room. But, let me think for a moment. Of course. I'll start to search for those barricades. Brilliant. There's more to this than even I imagined. Look, bones stacked oddly on either side of this archway. Hmm. Leave no stone unturned. Or in this case, no bone. Rebellion.
Incendio. Confirm. Incendio. Rickety Bone Bridge complete. My fault you're a deadly great spider. When Gandhi and Levy are lots of burn metal. Rebellion. Lumos. When Gandhi and Levy are When Gandhi and Levy You've done it. I knew we'd get through. I felt it in my bones. Nice. Before we trudge on further, I've just realized something. The student's diary mentions the Imperious Curse. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to need it here. It's an unforgivable, but useful when you're outnumbered. Places the victim completely under the caster's control. So, if you'd like to learn Imperio, I can teach you. It's probably wise to know the spell. I couldn't agree more. 
A spell that could save your life shouldn't be unforgivable. You have a lot at stake. You have an ability that evidently no one's seen for centuries. Focus your wand movement. It's not an easy spell to master. There we go. Something troubling ahead. Be on your guard. make such a mess. Bit dramatic, isn't it? Incendio. Accio. Rebellion. Accio. This catacomb has suffered decay, just as the student summary described. I doubt anyone's been here in quite some time. Revelio. Repair. Revelio. Incendio. Revelio. Send it. Revelio. Another barricade. Considering how well you did on the last one, this should be a cinch. <laughs> how gracious of you. I try. Accio!
That worked. Keep going. When gone, we have the other side. You are head and shoulders above these bones. Nicely done. Revelio. I see why Slytherin's student was so entranced with this place. Send it. Accurate. Dead end. Lovely. All that for nothing. Hold on. Don't give up yet. Sebastian, the relic! Look! Could it be? 
the note and rendition of the relic. It matches. This must be where the student left the relic. I can't believe it. After all this, it lines up. We've really found it. What do you suppose is meant by the dark sacrifice required to realize the relic's potential? I have no idea, but we're here for the relic. I'm willing to ignore what the journal entry says. We're taking the relic. Agreed. This is meant to be. For Anne's sake, I'm taking it. Let's get to Feldcroft. I must keep this relic secret, especially from my uncle. Rebellion. <laughs> Ominous. Ominous. The sounds we kept hearing. It was you. You gave me no choice. I had to follow you. Sebastian, please, leave the relic alone. We can find another way to help Anne. I'm sorry, Ominous, but I'm taking it. No, you're not. If you won't put it back, then I will. Hold on, both of you. Sebastian, please, take a step back. Fine, but Ominous knows I won't step back from a fight. Can't believe this. How much did you hear? Everything. I heard you encourage Sebastian to take the relic. Sebastian's done his research. He knows what he's doing. Sebastian makes things sound easy when they could be impossible or dangerous. We need to stop him. And if nothing will change his mind? Something has to. I need your help. You're right. This seems far riskier than Sebastian realizes. Good. We're agreed. We don't allow him to leave here with the relic. I do think we should talk to him, but I fear we won't stop him from taking the relic. What are you suggesting? I'm suggesting we negotiate. We allow Sebastian to leave with the relic under one condition. After this, no more. I feel that's what we agreed to in the scriptorium. I'm being taken for a fool. You're not, Ominous. This may be the only way to keep your friendship intact. Let's trust him to know what's best. Fine. If I trust him on this, I'm trusting you too. The dark arts seem harmless until it's too late. <sighs> Go then. Leave with the relic. I'll not say a word more. I hope I don't regret this. Sebastian, we're ready. What is it? I haven't changed my mind. Ominous has. Let's go. What? Ominous? I'll explain on the way. Come on. As we were leaving, Ominous wouldn't even acknowledge me. That's not like him. He was troubled, Sebastian. Even though we agreed to it all, it's been a lot to take in. I thought he understood. He knew we couldn't give up. All of this is too important. For Anne. 